欢迎各位来参加这个活动啊！我们创新与创造力中心的主要任务呢，就是提升呢整个组织啊，包括培力跟培力组织的创新的绩效，以及各位的创造力。那呃，今天呢，因为中心主任啊，詹子宇老师呢，在国外不能回来，那你看中这个活动，所以特别要我们来亲自跟各位欢迎。那这个活动的能够办成呢，是要感谢我们中心的。呃，顾问还有这个指导委员会的召集人，丁吉老师，我们才有这样的一个活动。各位自己的得到资讯的方法，当然也能够从网络上知道，所以介绍他是这个多余的，而且目的不是来看我，也不是来见我的，而是来看。为什么？确实哈。那么台湾的每一年都有个学生到 MIT 去读，一年来。那么其中有一个人叫 JTD， 就是这位李家勋，啊，他呢就他是那个情人杯的发明，他因为恋爱试验在这个这个过程当中发明了情人杯，然后他就觉得说这次要来这边做一次工作坊的时候，他觉得在这么多老师当中去上去让他上了一堂课，特别的喜欢，所以他就一定要。邀请他来，你看他就是学生可以把老师推荐到一个国外去演讲。I'm、uh, running a research group、uh, at the MIT Media Lab,、uh, and my own background is as an artist, but I'm an artist who's been working with technology for、uh, many years now.、Um, in fact, I became an artist because.、Uh, Of、uh, personal background, where I had been involved in a few different things. I was working for a design company, and I was very lucky to have the opportunity to、um, work、uh, as a technology futurist for this company. So it was a design consulting company, and our our sponsors, our, our clients were companies like Xerox, uh, uh, like IBM. And as I was working for them, my job was to read. The latest science and engineering、uh, to figure out what was being invented,、uh, and then I would meet with our client teams who'd be working for a company that was in document production or a company that was in、uh, building retail facilities, and they would explain the problems、uh, of the companies that we were working for to me, and then my job was to anticipate what technologies might be important for this company so that they could incorporate this, these potential technical changes. In their business strategy,、uh, and for me this was very interesting work because、uh, first off I could just read for three weeks,、uh, read kind of primary journals and publications, and it was my first real exposure to technology research.、Um, so it was of course very interesting on that point too. But after working in this job for a couple of years, I got to see my suggestions and then look at the companies what they would do with the suggestions. And then also see what the inventions that I had read about a couple of years ago, what technologies they would turn into, and、uh, I think that that experience was life changing for me because I had seen very many very interesting technologies being made and researched and crazy inventions that were very interesting, and the scientist who invented the principle of something like, for instance, one that I really liked was a, a, a kind of a. a A material, a piezoelectric material. If there are any engineers in the audience,、um, that when it is bent or if pressure is applied to it, it will generate a tiny amount of electricity. And、uh, the scientist who invented it said, "Oh, this is great. We can put this in people's shoes, and then in parts of, for instance, the third world where there's not electricity, people will be able to charge their cell phones or, or you know, keep things on their body that will have a little bit of electricity." And、so they'll be able to be part of the kind of global communications network, even if they don't have electricity at home. And you know what a great idea! What a what a very funny, interesting idea. But、uh, the end in the end, the only company who could integrate it into shoes was Nike, and what they used it for was to put little lights in the back of sneakers、um, for kids. And、uh, that's great, also for kids. But、um, but it's very different than what the original intention had been. And as I worked more and more in this kind of corporate world,、uh, I began to realize that、uh, increasingly 
the, the, the most interesting inventions and the most radical inventions would end up in the most banal uh, and boring of applications when they came out into the world. And uh, I can give many, many examples. Um, uh, but what I, what I began to be very disappointed in was how conservative markets are in terms of developing technologies and how conservative companies are in terms of taking risks with new technologies.